four common questions about the coronavirus. How does coronavirus attack your body? The coronavirus mostly infects living cells in order to reproduce. Inside of the virus genetic material contains the information to make more copies of itself. A protein shell provides hard protection for genetic materials and the outer envelope allows the virus to infect cells by merging with the cell's outer membrane. Projecting the envelope is spikes of protein molecules. New coronavirus just like a typical influenza virus uses their spikes like a key to get inside a cell in your body. When an infected person talks, coughs or sneezes, droplets carrying the virus may land in your mouth or nose and then move to your lungs. In a healthy body, a hair structure called cilia, constantly push the mucus and germs out of your airways, where you may expel them by coughing. Normally your immune cell system, attack viruses, and germs that make it passed by mucus and cilia. If your immune system is weakened like in the case of coronavirus infection, the virus can overwhelm your immune cells. Once a spike on the virus inserts into a receptor molecule on your healthy cell membranes, acts as a key in a lock. This action allows the virus to get inside your cells to the nucleus that houses all your genetic materials. A typical virus would travel inside the nucleus. But the coronavirus doesn't need to enter the nucleus of the host cell. It can directly access to parts of the host cell called ribosomes. Ribosome uses genetic information from the virus to make viral proteins such as the spikes on the virus surface. Then some structure in your cell carries these spikes and vesicles that merge with your cell's membrane, the cell's outer layer. These spikes use your cell membranes to create a new virus. Then a new virus comes out of the cell membrane. Then your bronchioles and alveoli become inflamed. This inflammation can cause your alveoli to fill with fluid and making it difficult for your body to get the oxygen it needs. It could affect one lobe of your lungs or you could have many areas of both lungs affected. It may cause chest pain, difficulty breathing, coughing, fever, and chills, confusion, headache, muscle pain, and fatigue. What is the recovery time for the coronavirus disease? Using available preliminary data, the median time from onset to clinical recovery for mild cases is approximately 2 weeks and is 3-6 weeks for patients with a severe or critical disease. Are masks effective against the coronavirus disease? If you are healthy, you only need to wear a mask if you are taking care of a person with the suspected 2019 cold infection. Wear a mask if you are coughing or sneezing. Masks are effective only when used in combination with frequent hand cleaning with alcohol-based hand rub or soap and water. If you wear a mask, then you must know how to use it and dispose of it properly. Can the coronavirus disease be transmitted in hot or humid climates? From the evidence so far, the COVID-19 virus can be transmitted in all areas, including areas with hot and humid weather. Regardless of climate, adopt protective measures if you live in. The best way to protect yourself against COVID-19 is by frequently cleaning your hands. By doing this you eliminate viruses that may be on your hands and avoid infection that could occur by then touching your eyes, mouth, and nose.